Hello. A stellar intro for a stellar game. Uh, so, I'm just gonna date this video right now. We on, we on coronavirus break, and I'm gonna... Still creating a glare, hold on. Do you want to... We on coronavirus break, uh, and I need to, and I'm gonna try to, you know, finish up some of the stuff in my backlog that I've been ignoring. Uh, and while everybody else has already played... While everybody else is playing Fire Emblem Three Houses, here we are with Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn for Nintendo Wii. This is actually quite a rare game. I I found a uh, a person selling it online for sixty bucks, and I swept it up because usually this game goes for like a hundred bucks. <laughs> Is this lore, or is this just like a title screen thing? Look at these. Look at these high quality animations. So this was the last home console Fire Emblem game before Three Houses, was this. For the Wii. Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn for Nintendo Wii. <laughs> is that is that the, uh, the Smash Bros bomb? That looks like the Subspace Emissary bomb, dude. This is so subdued. Like, it's so, like, the music is just, like, calm. And now we're... are those rhinos? What is happening? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's Ganondorf. Dude, it's, it's Ganondorf. Ganondorf and his rival, Krong. Fire Emblem Violet. This guy's got wings. Why aren't these dudes in Smash? This guy seems epic. He's like a bird. Uh oh. Uh oh, stinky. Four. Volume four is the sweet spot for Wii games. You turn it up to five and it's too loud, you turn it down to three and it's too quiet. Four is the sweet spot. So I'm assuming this is just like an opening cinematic that plays on the title screen. I'm done with this. <laughs> Fire Emblem, Radiant Dawn. This is the sequel to uh, Fire Emblem Path of Radiance for the GameCube, which is an even more expensive game, and since I do not own that game or a GameCube, we have not played that. So, if there's any lore, oh god, please don't. Please don't do anything. Just take me to the title screen. Thank you. Just stay, this is, this is one of those games where if you don't press a button right away on the title screen, it like goes to something else. So that's really epic. Uh, so this is both Fire Emblem Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn are rare, rare games because they were, they came out before Fire Emblem uh, blew up, so they like, there wasn't a market for them, and they didn't make very many of them, and now there is a market for Fire Emblem, but they've never re-released this game in any form, not even on like, Wii U eShop. Personally, what I feel like would be cool would be a, uh, a collection of the two, both games remastered in HD for the Switch. That's what they should, that's what they should do, that would make some money. But that doesn't exist, so we're gonna play this. The rarest, most prized game in my extensive Wii game collection. <laughs> Creating fun. So anyway, I'm kind of trying to reduce the number of Let's Plays I record 
because I very often start them and don't finish them, and then I keep losing the footage. But this is something, so I think, but I think this is something I want to make a series on, just because it's not like there are a lot of Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn Let's Plays out there. I'm trying to make something no one else, like, okay. Because my best, the Let's Plays that have done the best for me have been things like B Movie, where nobody else has played that game. But that game's an awful me, so I want to play something that people actually haven't played. I'm going to go... Go normal or easy? I've heard this is one of the harder fire games. Uh, but I'm still gonna go normal. Part 1. Silver Haired Me. So, Ike from Smash Bros. This is the game he's from. This and Path of Radiance. Prologue of the Grey Sky. Yeah, so it's it's the Tellius era of Fire Emblem games, that's what they call it. I think it, that's like the name of the kingdom the game takes place in or something? I don't know. I watch anything. Not yet, sir. No. Someone's gotta be here. Keep looking. Sir! Sir! I'm out of breath, sir. Ooh. Hello. You're not Hike. We're wasting our time. There's no one here. I thought I saw a wife here. Hush, you Please, don't cry. If they hear you, they'll give us away. Why is she carrying a freaking bird there? around? Fool. What are they doing? Is it the Dawn Brigade? No. It was just a bird. Then why did they make creepy smiles and turn around? towards the crack in the wall. Like, what? Did anybody else notice that? The One of them was like, and he turned, uh, 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 oh, they snuck around. Okay. Look, silver hair. If it's the fortune teller, we'll be heroes. Without her, the Dawn Brigade is nothing. Oh, the general's going to love this. Thank you, sir. Listen this up, is... lad. If you don't want to get hurt, don't struggle. <laughs> oh! Oh, he just like slit that guy's throat. This is this is more intense than I'm used to. It's more intense than I'm used to from Fire Emblem. I have played a bit. Of I have played a bit of other Fire Emblem. I played Fire Emblem Echoes on the 3DS. This also like jump puts you straight in the action. I played the intro of Three Houses on a friend switch and that game like starts out relatively chill. Fire Emblem Echoes also takes forever to get going. So it's uh, interesting to see this game just start with the main character being ambushed by a pack of soldiers. I mean, I guess it is a sequel. Navasa, the Dane Captain. A few days later? I didn't read. I think it was days. Who knows? Wow, we love JPEGs with text. Fire Emblem really has come so far. Something must have happened to it. Don't worry. He'll be here. Hey, I have an idea. Makai, why don't you use your farsight to see what Leonardo will arrive? Edward, you know that's not how it works. I foresee some things, but I don't get to choose what I see. I like how it's, like, not widescreen anymore. I was just teasing. Still, Leonardo's will never late. Something must have... Hey, help! Someone please help us! Bandits! Bandits are attacking the town! Run away! Who knows what the brutes will do when they catch you? Where is the Imperial Occupation Army this time? How can they keep the peace when they're nowhere to be found? Who? The big... the... Ben... big... 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 Benign? Benign? I don't know. The... 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 the big... the beg Yoshi soldiers? Ha! They don't care a lick about us. We lost the war and they won. We're nothing to them. They're only interested in chasing down the Dawn Brigade. 
Play that the real scoundrels run wild and brutalize us. They're worse than useless. We'll be glad to help you. Just find some place to hide underneath those bandit studs. And don't worry about us. We happen to be members of that same Dawn Brigade the Big Nine 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 troops are so interested in. What? Really? You guys are in the Dawn Brigade. Wow, my friends talk about you all the time. You, but you're just children. Oh, how Dane has fallen. Children forced to fight and steal for the good of the poor. But we can't fight the rogues, so we'll take you up on your offer. Please be careful. They'll slice clean through you if they can. Yeah, we're like in the midst of like wartime. Listen up, you louts! This pile is nothing but idiot kids and drooling gravy. Steal everything you can. You, it's dangerous here. Go find someplace safe here. Okay, bye, little bird. The bird things. All right, and we're just in the gameplay. There's no tutorial or anything. Interesting. They clearly expected you to play Path of Radiance before this, but, uh... Unless I want to... That game is actually impossible to find under $100, so here we are. Speaking fire emblem ease. What did you say? That better not have been an insult to you. Huh? Oh. What? Okay, no. This is a battle. Okay. For a second I thought it was going to be a cutscene. Or is she just... Cool. We, we fighting. We fighting. Those are some high-res models there. Oh, except... Oh, I didn't, I didn't think this through. Now he can't attack. We, we, master strategist at work here. We're definitely turning off these animations at some point. Can I attack from range with her? Okay, I can, so I should have been doing that to begin with. No matter the manner of man, the goddess judges with an even hand. If I say that every time I kill an enemy, I'm gonna flip my lid. Alright, Edward. Dude, Edward's beefy. Oh. oh yeah. Oh yeah. Already tired of these animations. We're just gonna we're gonna start like cutting stuff out pretty soon. Dude, these beefy guys stand no chance against Edward. They'll kill them all. Dude, dude. This is the real reason the sword guys are the ones that fire a wound, because they're always the best units. Well, not always. Like, there's always at least one really good sword unit in every fire emblem game. 
Who's that? Mikai! Leonardo, how did you find us? A little bird told me. Yours, in fact. Oh, cool, we've got another diamond. What were you two thinking, taking on these bandits alone? That's beyond reckless. I don't want to read any more about it. I left the battle animations on most of the time, but you can also fast forward them in that. I don't know if you can do that here. If you can, I haven't figured out how. Sacrifice? What the hell is... Oh, she can give other people her HP. Interesting. Why I would want to do that, but you know. if anyone, she's if anything, she's the one in need of more HP. Like somebody else needs to give her a very I just discovered this menu like a day ago. Which is good, because now it means uh, if my Wii Remote dies, I don't have to reboot everything to use a different one. I've, I've owned a Wii for like 10 years, and I never knew... Yeah, okay, that's it. That's all I want. And I never knew that this Wii Remote settings menu existed. I was always like, why is it so hard to disconnect Wii Remotes? Uh, whatever. Back to the game, sorry. My Wii Remote ran out of battery. I'm used to the newer games where I can just move and attack in the same, like, movement. I like that little flip we get. Thank you. 
You will give proper thieves a bad name. Ha! You like charity? Come close, I'll show you some charity. These people work hard to feed their families mere scraps, and you come along and steal what little they've earned. Shut up, kid! I work hard too! You want honest? Once I've sold you, I'll have earned an honest penny! <laughs> I'm a generic, iron golden asshole. You can really tell they, they, they do really over the top villain designs. Like, just. Like, if you're born with a face like that, you're destined to be a, a Fire Emblem bandit. If you're born with a, a face like Pugo's. But if you're born with a face like uh, Micaiah's, you're destined to be... Like, here, you can't even see it. I need better lighting. Here. Kill me? Oh no, no, he worked it. But if you're born with a face like the Pyres or Edwards, you're destined to be like a fire or or blue hair. If you've got blue hair, oh, you're destined to be a fire emblem protagonist. Blue or silver hair. If you've got a handsome face like Leonardo's, I feel bad. I feel bad when you're when you're made, when you when you're born looking like a a chunky thug, and then your parents give you the name Pugo? I mean, where else are you gonna go from there? Fantastic! We won! It's just like you said, Micaiah. They were no match for us. You, come here. And her bird comes back. You did it! Who was that? Oh, yeah, these two. Thank you so much! We owe you our lives! You're there! What are you doing? Stop immediately! Well, 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 look who decided to show up. Big be be Venus soldiers. I don't know how to say it. I'll wait for the voice actor to say it. We mustn't be caught, Micaiah. Edward, make Ma oh. We mustn't be caught. Micaiah! Edward, make a break for it. Run! I'm sorry, we have to leave. Thank you again for all you've done. Hi lady, my name's Nico. When I grow up, I wanna be just like you guys. Great, nobody cares. Hold it! Stop right there! Who are you, better than a soldier? General Giraffe! When did you arrive? Answer my question, maggot! I want to know who you were yelling at and why you did nothing but yell at them. So sorry, sir. We suspect they were from the Don a band of thieves that targets goods levied from the dead. Oh, so they're thieves? I guess the Dawn Brigade are like Robin Hood type thieves. People say they give back what they've stolen back to the villagers and strut around acting like heroes. Okay, that makes sense. They're said to have a witch among them, a girl called the Silver Haired Maiden. They say she can heal wounds instantly by laying her hands on any injury. Counts people treat her with a savior. And what have you been doing about this band of fools? Sir, a few days we stormed their hideout. We found a girl much like the Silver Haired Maiden. We ran the dogs from their den, but they were cunning, cautious, and we lost them. I see. I'm beginning to understand. How do you mean, sir? I'm beginning to understand exactly how incompetent you all are. <laughs> Just stabbed him! <laughs> he killed him! He killed him! You! You there! Make the villagers talk. I want to know who these bandits are, and where they're hiding. Hey, yes, sir! Understood, sir! I don't care. I don't care who they are. The more kick they have in them, the more fun for us, don't you think so? Precisely. Overseeing this dusty old town is wearing thin. A little fresh game is just what we need. Just what I need. That's why they're called the, the Tellus Eastern Games. nation of Dayan lost a bloody war with neighboring Crimea three years ago. Oh. Crimea, however, abdicated its right to rule Dayan and passed sovereignty of its former enemy to the powerful Benyon Empire. 
why. They in his future is now subject to the winds of the Empire. Political intrigue. What's the little area on the left that isn't, doesn't belong to anybody? Ben Young's occupation forces have gathered all day and men of fighting age and put them to work in labor camps. Uh -oh. Their work is brutal and void of purpose, designed to break both body and So spirit. I think Path of Radiance's plot has the to do with the war against Korea, but I don't. As the fields lie fallow. A band of young heroes has escaped the Benyon army. Benyon. From a group Benyon. of Dawn okay. Brigade. Bonyan. Bonyan for a free day in. They alone Bain. have stood against Benyon's Bain forces. And Benyon. They alone have shouldered the hopes of their nation. Bain and Benyon. Among the company is a young girl named Micaiah, who is said to possess mystical powers. The people of Dayan have come to know Dayan. her as the Silver-Haired Maiden. They have come to think of her as the savior for whom they have been waiting. This is truly gripping. Benyon's forces Exposition. have tried time and again to capture and silence the Dawn Brigade. However, Micaiah's ability to sense impending danger has thus far allowed the Dawn Brigade to evade the Empire's grasp. All right. So she can see the future. Is she the shulk of Fire Emblem? Chapter 1. Maiden of Miracles. Who should we explain yesterday to Sophie and Noel? It's like you said, we didn't have a choice. We had to save Nico and the townsfolk. But I admit, getting spotted by those Benyon soldiers is unfortunate. Still, I'd do it all over again. The worst part is they know we're near. They could find this hideout as easily as they found our last one. I just don't get it. This is our country. Why do we have to live in hiding, like prisoners in our own land? Come on, you know why. We lost the war and Crimea won. It's not our country. End of story. Except that Crimea walked away after winning, leaving those heartless Benyon dogs to rule our country for the last three years. The occupying soldiers march around like they own the place, doing whatever they want, and no one dares stop them. To be fair, Crimea didn't have the resources to rule another country. Sophie, and Nolan too. Welcome back. I'm glad you made it in one piece. At last, the Dawn Brigade is all present. But you were unusually late. Were you delayed? I think our fame's catching up with us. Benyon patrols are everywhere. It took us a while to avoid them. I have never seen so much Benyon activity in this area before. Is there something we should know? Um, well, actually, the truth is... We played the prologue, and now, Benyon soldiers know where we are. More importantly, Mikai, will you see healing anyone with sacrifice? I'm afraid so, except I didn't use it, so... You can't allow anyone to know what you do. What you can do. Healing without any tomes or staves is a rare gift. Almost unheard of. If anyone saw you doing it, you'd be given away immediately. I don't know if I could keep you safe. I know, so. I know you know, but you keep doing it. This place isn't safe anymore. We should leave at once. Correct. Ah, it would have been nice to just one meal in peace. There's a lot of dialogue. We have so many voices. This way's no good either. Benyon soldiers have every alley with the kin comes in past them. Looks like this really is the least guarded path then. Even so, it's swarm with soldiers. There are more coming up behind us. We'll be trapped if we don't move quickly. We can't wait for Sophie. The stairs by the church lead to the marketplace. We can break through there. I'll go first and secure the way. Kai and Leonardo, cover my back. Remember to keep your distance from the enemy. Team up and bring them down one by one. Edward, you. You bring up the rear. Your skills have improved, but you're still new to fight. Don't rush the enemy. Just focus on surviving their attacks. Got it? 
This is a lot of soldiers for the second mission of the game. Aside, just as you said, a group that appears to be the Dawn Brigade is storming the alley. How generous of them. Look, see, look at this guy. Look at this dude. Look at that chunky nose. That I'm gonna like zoom into him. I'm a, I'm a, this is this is where having a camera is advantageous because I can just zoom. Like, look at this guy. If you were born looking like that. The best you could hope for is being like the general of an evil empire's army. But even like the main villains of Fire Emblem games usually aren't that well ugly. That kind of ugliness is reserved only for the for the minions, for the like single level bosses that you destroy. Did you hear me say how generous I'm? I'll wipe them out and tell them my exploits back home. He's desperate to advance the ranks of Fire Emblem ugly. And he never will, because we're gonna kill him today. So it's interesting, I can rotate the camera like sometimes. Oh god, they are really swarming. This let's play would take like twice as long if I left the animations on. Ouch. What is this guy? Have a spear? Okay, he's gonna get out. at all? I don't think we have. We've been very lucky. See, now that the only person they can attack is Nolan, which was the idea, because Nolan is strong. Oh wait, this guy has range? I didn't know that guy had range! Well, we've already lost our first unit. How is it that people are born only to die so swiftly? I don't know. Uh, he did die pretty swiftly, though. If only I had lived a little longer. Wait, what? Oh, what? That's a game over? Why? Who cares about Leonardo, dude? I guess I guess I can't let any of them die at this point. 
in the next episode, we'll uh, continue continue that mission. Arrivederci!